people welcome back to my channel my name is Rona if you're very new to this channel and if you are coming back thank you so much if you're very new let's do this go down below this video there's a subscribe button and click on that subscribe button also make sure you click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I post this video without further ado go into this video that is my daughter always behind this camera oh my goodness so this is going to be my labor and delivery story however i'm not pregnant at this time guys my daughter is one year and seven months so this right here i think we can remove this right here this is just some piece of cloth so at 39 weeks my doctor asks me if i am feeling anything and nothing i don't feel anything so he tells me you know what next week come back and we will examine you so the following week i go back but on that day i was supposed to go back that was supposed to be like my due date instead of me just going to see the doctor you know i was really tired and i just wanted this baby to come out i packed my bags i packed everything put them in the car and i said come what may i want to convince the doctor that i i should have this baby today so i go to the hospital and i see my doctor and he asks me do you have any 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 pains or anything like that and i tell him no so he's like you know what maybe we can induce you i said yes but then he said you know what uh first go to the scan first go to the scan and we see and i go to the scan and i check that day it was unusually like long the guy kept on checking me and checking me and i kept asking is everything okay he's like you ask your doctor i'm like why can't you tell me he's like i'm not in position to tell you that, that kind of information i'm like okay like can't you just tell me like what do you see or something like that it's like no your doctor will tell you okay so i get my report Funny, I didn't read that report. I take it to my doctor and my doctor is there busy. Then he starts reading my report. He's like, Rona, did you read this report? I say, no, I didn't. He's like, do you know what is happening to you? I'm like, definitely, I don't know what's happening to me. It's like, you don't have any amniotic fluid left in your, in you. Your baby is, has an umbilical cord around the neck more than twice. And I'm like, what? He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to tell you this. I'm sorry I've been telling you that you, you, you're you going to give birth naturally, but today is not possible. And I have, unfortunately, I have to perform an emergency section on you. I'm like, what? You know, I was just there and I just saw tears just running down my eyes because I could not believe what I was hearing. I thought I was going to have my baby naturally. I did not ever, ever prepare myself for a C-section. I used to read about this whole bath thing, you know, on Google. But when it would come to the C-section part, I would say, no, nope, I am not having a C-section. I'm, go I'm going to read what I want. But you see, sometimes not everything that we, we want is what we get, right? Sometimes maybe that's not what God has prepared for us. So definitely I was like shocked, not like I was actually shocked. I was scared. I was so scared. First of all, my um, I was scared. I'd had people say they, they inject you in the back and I was so scared of that. Then I was scared about ever getting my body back. I was scared about the pain. I was scared about so many things. All those things now just started coming back like, oh, I'd had this one say this. Oh, I'd had this one say this. I'm like, what? Now I'm going to go through this. I was shaking. So they, uh, the good thing I packed my things. So they, they go look for a room for my, for me, and they take me to, to, is it a maternity wing to prepare me for the C-section? I'm telling you, I was shivering on that bed. I was shaking, and and I remember my husband being there. Just my husband was really the best, and he was encouraging me and telling me everything is going to be okay, even though he was so scared of this whole thing but he wanted to be like the strong person and like of course we all couldn't be crying you know so they prepared me very well for for the c-section 
and you guys eh i don't want to scare anyone so i'm not just going to say anything if you ever want to know what happens during that time uh, maybe you can google or you can ask me privately but i cannot say this on the on on, on here because i don't want to scare anyone it's some things you don't really be prepare for them so they kind of come proof and that's what is required anyway so at uh i was ready to go to the theater i think i went in like at 5 30 around that time and i remember i i went in and i go on this bed it is so small I think it's as small as this it's only meant for one person basically so i i go on that bed and i'm sitting and um now i'm wondering okay what next then then the lady uh tries to inject Help the it. drug in my in my spinal cord and it's not getting in and she's trying and trying and trying i'm so scared i'm like why is the, this why is, is this not working for me and there's this after like 10 minutes of trying and trying and the thing is not getting in, some guy just comes, bends my spinal cord, gets the thing in and I'm already good to go. I'm all paralyzed. I remember my baby came out uh, after covering me and I'm seeing this side. My, my, my baby came out at 5.50 p.m. exactly I was seeing. So uh, after getting the baby out, of course, the rest of the process really is you're not you're just seeing and you're just feeling people pulling you and whatever so the rest of the process is just up to the doctors so i was i think i was done after like 30 minutes everything and i was so sleepy i couldn't keep my eyes open so i remember i was shivering so much they had to take me to a very warm room and i i remember i dozed off but I would keep opening my eyes and closing them, opening my eyes and closing them. And later they wheeled me to my room because I was seeing, I remember seeing my mom and my husband. But you know, you, my eyes were closing, opening, closing, opening up. Then I went to my room and they put me on my bed and I dozed off. I would keep opening my eyes, I see people around and I close them again. So once I actually regained like all my sensitivity and all that, Oof, that's when it dawned on me that the pain was really too much too much too too much the pain is too much but you know they say that God cannot give you more than it can handle so I believe God knows that if I give you this kind of pain I know you will manage so uh, I remember we stayed in the hospital for five days I started walking a bit and uh, we came home breastfeeding was a problem sleeping at night was a problem the baby was up most of the times uh what else um walking up the stairs was a problem but you know after all these things you finally get back into your like your sanity comes back i'm telling you the first weeks of you having a baby feel like it feels like you've been you like you've been up for like three months or four months yet yeah, it's only been like a week but after this whole uh the baby not sleeping up crying oh my god your boobs hurting from the breastfeeding and all that stuff finally you'll actually get some peace when the time is right so that was my labor and delivery story i never went into labor so that was my delivery story hope you guys enjoyed my video make sure you watch my old videos and give me a thumbs up if you like any of my videos if you've not subscribed make sure you subscribe that will be be bomb i'll see you guys in my next video bye